With me today is Brayton Bollenbacher, the Artistic Director of Columbus Gay Men's Chorus. Brayton, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. So why don't you tell us something about the Columbus Gay Men's Chorus that people who aren't familiar with it may not know. Yeah, so we are in our 33rd season of Voices Raised and Lives Changed. And, you know, we've had this evolution in this time because when we started, we were back in the, the early 90s, which of course was in the height of the HIV AIDS epidemic. And now we're here 33 years later and we are a TTBB chorus, which means tenor tenor, baritone, bass. Oh, I think that's something people might not know. Yeah, they probably don't know that. But at the same time, it also, you don't have to be gay, you don't have to be a man, mm -hmm. and you don't have to live in Columbus to be in the Columbus Gay Men's Chorus. Okay, that's good to know. I like how inclusive it is, open yeah, to everybody. Yeah, it's really great to see the evolution of the chorus and really see how we are adapting to really what the LGBTQ community needs right now. That's amazing. Well, I'm excited to get cooking with you, or mixing, I guess, in this case. Why don't you tell me what we're going to make? So we're making cowboy caviar today, which it was one of my favorite TikTok find recipes. <laughs> um, and the nice thing about it is that I'm a vegetarian, and I often find that when I go to parties or when I go to restaurants, there aren't a lot of good vegetarian options because they don't have a lot of good protein. But this have, has lots of protein in it, and it's super flavorful and super colorful, and everybody loves it. I love it. It's so easy to snack on. It's so good. I can't wait. <laughs> so why don't you tell us uh, what ingredients we'll need to get started. So here's what you'll need today. Two to three bell peppers of any color, one red onion, six ounces of feta cheese, three mangoes, cilantro, a can of black beans, a can of chickpeas, two cups of corn, two cups of pineapple, one jalapeno, candied jalapenos, and then my favorite, the corn chips for dipping. For the dressing today, You'll need three limes, a fourth cup of olive oil, a fourth cup of white wine vinegar, two to four tablespoons of spicy honey, and then one to two tablespoons of taco seasoning with sugar, salt, and pepper to taste. Okay, this all sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. What's our first step? So we're gonna go ahead and mix all the stuff for the dressing mm -hmm. together. Um, so we'll start by just pouring it in. Okay, this, so we can just pour batch. it in. Yeah. All right, while we pour and whisk, why don't you tell me what can an audience member expect from a performance? Yeah, so um, the Columbus Cayman's Chorus has three different performing ensembles. So we have the large chorus, which right now currently has about 100 members. Um, and then we have a small audition ensemble called Vox. And then we have a small group called Illuminati, which is our sacred ensemble. Oh, wow. Yeah, so <clears throat> the large chorus and Vox do shows that are pop, Broadway, classical, kind of all mixed together with a yeah. different theme and usually in a theater setting. Um, and so you can expect to cry, to laugh, to really enjoy gay people on stage. That sounds amazing. Yeah, that's really <laughs> fun. Um, and then you can uh, come to Illuminati, and we'll hold off on that oh, in just one second. So good we, call. Yeah, we wanna, I want to make sure we can taste, taste it. Taste it. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh, yeah. you're such a chef. Oh, don't tell my Chill. family that. <laughs> For Illuminati, though, they do this really cool thing where they go to a different uh, congregation once a month, on a, usually on a Sunday or a Saturday or Friday, whatever that service is, um, and they sing sacred music, So, which wow, is really cool. that's wonderful. Yeah. What a variety. It's really nice, and the nice thing about the chorus is that we have, um, not only is the music a variety with the genres, but we also have singers that are from 24 to 80 that oh are in the group. Gosh. So it's a really cool intergenerational dialogue and musicianship that goes yeah. on. What mm -hmm. kind of singing skill should someone have? Like, they should already be... They gotta audition. Well, no. So actually, the Columbus Gay Men's Chorus is open to everyone. Okay. So you come in and you voice, and I'll put you in whatever section is best for you, and then we kind of help you do the rest. Oh, so you wonderful. don't have to read music. You've, if you've never sung before, we will take you. As long as you can match pitch, you can sing with us. That's amazing. It's really great. I love All right. it. You okay. ready to start putting some of this in? Yes. But I, I want your tasting expertise. Oh, I don't know about that. You probably... <laughs> You're probably better than I am. <laughs> it's looking good. Looks like a good dressing. And so you could probably make this ahead and then toss it all together. 100% you could. Uh, and the nice thing is that it does um, stay in the refrigerator mm -hmm. pretty uh, easily. So, oh, so you can use it, it forever. Yeah. Nice. Make a little salad or something. I also like to put it on my hand oh my gosh, when I do it. Yeah, it's really good to hand. taste that way. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it good? Um, it Se needs. Seasoning wise. Yeah, I think it needs a little more sugar. Okay. Mm hmm. All right, our beautiful dressing is all mixed together. Before we combine it with everything else, why don't you tell me a little bit about your mission? Yeah, so, you know, Voices Raised, Lives Changed is the overall mission of the organization. And so it's really important for us that we are really taking the social issues that are affecting LGBTQ people and finding ways to program about that. So my personal belief is that every chorus should have a mission moment in a concert. So whether that be 
you know, a couple of years ago, we sang a beautiful Mandarin piece because all the violence was going against Asian Americans during COVID. Or um, this concert, we're having a moment to talk about HIV AIDS again, you know, which is a common theme for, of course, our community. I think it's really important that we sing songs that are really relevant to what's going on in our singers' lives. And, you know, bring awareness to that through music to our audience that might not have any understanding of what's going on. That's wonderful. So people come for entertainment, but they also get to have that kind of connection with their community and understand, you know, what people are going through. That's wonderful. And there's no better way to feel than through music. That's so true. My goodness. And eating snacks. Yeah, also. I'm ready to eat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now what's our next step? I mean, we essentially mix it all together. We just put it all in a bowl. I can't wait. Let's yeah. do it. All right, I'll get some of this stuff out of the way. Any particular order? We just rock and roll? Um, I think you just rock and roll okay. however you want. I would suggest maybe a little less cilantro until the very end. We don't end. dump it. Yeah, okay. and then just based on what you want. So. All, right. all right, so here, uh, here, you do mango. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll do our beautiful pepper. It's so colorful. Well, that's how the gays roll. <laughs> it's like a pride flag in a bowl. Yeah, that's right. I love it. All right, there go our peppers. Maybe some beans in there, yeah. Get our, all the chickpeas? Go yeah, ahead. put them all and in. Dump them. All in. I'm going to get the black, the black beans. beans. Wait, tell me why regular jalapeno and candied jalapeno. I really like jalapeno. Well, fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just think you can't have enough jalapenos. So. Should I dump these all in or are yeah, we Yeah, put being... them all okay. in. Put okay. them all we're, in. We're going to yeah. weep. It's going to be spicy. And then, well, do you like spicy? I do. Okay, good. I mean, so we're going to be okay. It's not pretty, but I like it. So <laughs> go ahead and put these all in. Sometimes it doesn't feel good, but right. it, it's all great. <laughs> it hurts so good. <laughs> yeah. Onion goes in. All the feta? Yeah, all the feta. Oh gosh, this is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Feta's the best. It's so good. Such a good cheese. And then this is our pineapple. Mm -hmm. The other nice thing about this recipe is that if somebody doesn't like something, they can easily can, take it out. Yeah. yeah. So This is, I've seen cowboy caviar before, but not with this many delicious ingredients. Really? Yeah. The yeah. mango and the pineapple, that's so fun. We'll probably only do half. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay, fine. Great. This and is going to be a, a mixing just, just mix it together. situation. Mm -hmm. And then we just have to put the dressing on. Do you want to put the dressing on as sure. I mix? Should I drizzle as... Does the whole thing go on? The whole thing. Whole thing. Okay. Here, wait. Here we go. I'm going to have to like, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty color. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. There it goes. Okay. And then I will mash it up together. Okay. And then we get to snack on it. Mm-hmm. Now, you can choose whatever type of chips that you really want, mm -hmm. but I think that corn-flavored chips are always kind of the best way to go. You need a sturdy chip for this. You definitely need a sturdy chip. And it's good to have like a dip one, too. Okay. It looks beautiful. Do you, can you eat it right away? Should you let it sit in the fridge? Does you it can eat it right away. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We've had, I mean, we've had it before where we take it to parties mm -hmm. and we eat it at the party like the moment that we finish it and then we save it for the next like three days. And I think it's got so much protein in it that it could also be a meal for yeah, you too. Yeah, absolutely. So. I feel like this kind of thing goes so fast at a party though. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, everybody wants to have a dip, right? right. So, and it's so different. It is. So and fresh. it's mostly healthy. It is. So. For the most part, it's just the chips that get us. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. Okay, great. <gasps> okay, so before we stuff our faces, okay. why don't you tell me what we can expect for the next 33 years of the Columbus Game Men's Chorus? <sighs> you know, I, it's a question. really big you question. Earn your ah, snack. I know. <laughs> um, so I think that, you know, I, I think that with all choruses and, you know, especially choruses that are LGBTQ, it's. How are we continuing to meet the needs of our people? What is it going to look like to be a gay person in 30 years? You know, I mean, we've had kind of this honeymoon period since the last 15 years where being gay has been a lot easier. Will that continue? Will it not continue? And then our poor trans and non-binary friends are really going through a lot of stuff right now with what, what's going on in, in schools and, and the public. Um, you know, different politicians and what they're wanting. And so how do we benefit these people who who really need this community? So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is how do we adjust to the changing music? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not singing the stuff from the 1950s anymore. What is that going to look like? How are we incorporating things like TikTok or, or Zoom to rehearsals? And how do we deal if there's another pandemic? So right. I think it's, you know, it's just an ever evolving system that we're going to have to figure out and change. And, we might not be called the same thing in 30 years. We might be called the same. I mean, who, who we knows? Just have knows? I don't, maybe we'll be SATB. Maybe we'll be SSA. Maybe we'll be TTBB. Maybe we'll be Solist. Uh, 33 years is a lot, but I think it's as long as we're meeting the needs of our community, then we're doing what's right for our organization. And it sounds like your mission is headed in the right place, and we're lucky to have you in the community. Well, we love being in Columbus. It's such a vibrant spot for us, and, you know, there is no better place to be in the Midwest than Columbus. I agree. Uh, let's eat this. We got some chips over there. 
And now we just need to be like in scene and eat Great. it. No, yeah. okay, let's get in here. All right. All the flavors. I hope it's good. It's gonna be good. There's no way it can't be. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Light and fresh. It's so, so yummy. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. all those flavors come together. Mm -hmm. The dressing is so zingy. The feta. And it's like too winner. much. Yeah, it's great. It's love it. Thanks for being here, Brady. Thanks so much for having me.